Hello, my name is Bob, and I am the Technology Manager at Anderson Corporation. Today, I'm here to discuss bend-insensitive single-mode fibre. What is bend-insensitive single-mode fibre? Perhaps we've all heard of the term bend-insensitive or reduced bend radius as it relates to optical fibre glass. Perhaps we haven't. Let's see if we can demystify this for you. All fibre optic glass is manufactured to certain standards of compliance. In the fibre optic industry, the organisation responsible is the ITU, International Telecommunications Union. The ITU is an agency of the United Nations that is specifically responsible for all issues worldwide that relate to the information and communication sectors which act as defining elements in the Global Infrastructure of Information and Communication Technologies, ICTs. ITU's Telecommunications Standardization Sector, ITU-T, assemble experts from around the world to develop international standards known as ITU-T recommendations. The ITU-T recommendation for bend-insensitive single-mode fibre is G657. G657 is broken up into two main categories. Category A, fibres for access networks. Category B, fibres for short distances at the end of access networks. Each category A and B is broken up into two subcategories. G657A1 and G657A2, G657B2 and G657B3. These subcategories have the following minimum specified bend radius. G657A1, 10.0 millimeters. G657A2 and G657B2, 7.5 millimeters. G657B3, 5.0 millimetres. So, what does this all mean when we compare the G657 products against the normal single-mode glass, G652? The below diagram shows each of the bend radii of the G657 products as compared to the bend radius of the G652 standard single-mode glass. OK, so all of this is really good information, but why should I use G657 glass? And what are the associated benefits? The ITU-T657 fibre optic cable offers flexible characteristics for easier deployment in streets, buildings and homes. In addition, the ITU-T657 fibre optic cable reduces the rollout costs for operators and the total cost of ownership TCO, of an FTTH network as follows. Increased flexibility in fibre optic cables, allowing improved installation in tight corners of buildings. Smaller cabinets, enclosures and terminations, which are important where space is a premium or simply more cables in less space, thereby offering the ability for greater port density. More engineer-friendly installation, leading to less rework. Now, how does this all relate to what Anderson can do for you? Well, that is the easy part. Anderson can manufacture bend-insensitive fibre optic patch cables to your specific requirements.